Welcome back to Ayaz Tech. In this video, I will show you how to create an FTP account by using your Hostinger account. So before we begin, I will first create a subdomain where I will show you by uploading files and we will test it. So first of all, click on the manage button and then scroll down, find the subdomain area. Click on that button. From here, let's type FTP test. Now click on the create button. That would create a new subdomain for you with the name that you just typed in the input. So now we can search for that subdomain. You can see that this subdomain has been created and this is the path of that subdomain. So whenever you will upload anything on this path, in this folder then that website would be live on this url so first of all let's open this url to see what is in that okay right now you can see the default page by hostinger we will delete that page and we will upload the latest files that we want to upload so from here now we will go to the ftp section for that, go back to the dashboard and scroll down to find the FTP section. So this is the FTP accounts button. Click on that. And here, let's type the name FTP test. And similarly here, you have to specify that which domain, uh, which folder that, that you want to access by this user so if you don't specify any folder after that then uh, it will give access to this user for the entire root directory and this user, user will have access to all of the files and subfolders within this root folder so we don't want that we just we just want to get access to the relevant folder that is ftp test so now i will type my password After that, click on the create button. As you can see, it is saying that FTV account has been created. Now let's open the FileZilla. And click on this icon. And then click on the new site. Here you can type the name FTP test. It can be anything. It does not matter. Now scroll down and uh, Look at your FTP account that you just created. Here you can see that this is the host name that you have to use. Copy this host name and paste it here. After that, copy the username and paste that username here. After that, you need to type the password that you just created. All right. Now I'm going to save it. Uh, I will click on the OK button. And then click on this icon again and now you can click on the connect button that would connect it so you can see if everything is correct then it will show you a dialogue like this to ask some permission you can just click on the ok or you can also check this checkbox that is saying always trust this certificate in future session so if you select it then it will not ask you for this permission every time so i'm going to select it click on the ok button so after a few seconds it will show you the files in that directory that you are connected with right now with the ftp so here th this is the default file that was being shown on this page so if you delete that file then it will stop showing there so let's delete it and see if you reload it you will see that it is not loading anymore now i am going to find my folder that i want to upload so this is the folder that i want to upload on the subdomain so let's open the files on the right and this section on the left now select all files that you want to copy and 
okay and drop them here so now wait for some time and on the bottom you can see the progress we can see that eight files are queued and after some time you will see that there is no number remaining in the queued file that's mean the website has been uploaded successfully and you can also find that in this area you can see that so left uh, right side is the folder structure of the remote server of the ftp account and left side is your local computer so on the left side you will see the folder directories uh, that are available in your computer on the right side you can see the folders from your hosting the server now it's time to test to make sure that everything is uploaded correctly now let's reload it and see all right you can see that uh, our website has been successfully uploaded on this new domain that we just uploaded with the help of the filezilla ftp i hope this video was useful for you so please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon and also please like and share this video thanks for watching